Turning the headphones on is a good place to start. Hi, y'all, it's me and Roger. We're back here with Dark Souls Remastered, if you care. I've been eager to get back into Dark Souls uh, ever since we found a path that actually leads to a place. I'd be very disappointed if that fog just doesn't go anywhere, but it certainly looks to me like it's leading to a boss fight. So this may just be a big old fighty episode we have on our hands here, which uh, wouldn't be all that bad if you ask me. Did I say some loot down here just now? I sure did. Let me have that. Soul of a Brave Warrior, and that you are, my friend. Actually... Uh, it occurs to me, I have a few of those now, and I was like, oh man, they only give like 2,000 or something, so it's probably not that good. But they actually do a fair bit more than that, so this might be enough for a level or two. Then again, it may be a tremendous waste to fight if this is a boss fight that I'm about to go into here, and I'm going to lose it several times, because it might be a very difficult boss fight. There's also not like a great way back up onto those roots from this. Well, rip me. He yep! Oh, well. Oh, that didn't kill me. I really thought it was going to. What is that? Oh, it's just more vines. I thought there was a really big thing in there. All right, well, let's go sit back at the bonfire now that I've broken all the legs. And before going into that fog, I've got to say, I was really getting worried for a minute um, about this place. I, before I found that staircase last episode, I was I was feeling a little desperate, to tell the truth. I say we see if, the, if there's a boss fight here, which is how I would guess it is. A boss fight, then maybe the switch that will open that other door that we saw. Uh, then we see how bad it is, and we might end up kindling that bonfire to get 10 Estus Flasks if, it's, if we really feel that's necessary. I might even sp spend some of the souls to level up. Still don't know entirely if um, doing this... It, it, we have to do this first before we can do the Drake Valley stuff and the uh, Duke's Archive stuff, or if I'm really just missing stuff on those other two things. I would be totally, totally willing to believe that I was missing stuff on those other two things. And so it might require some more investigation uh, on my own time into that stuff. I tried, I would, it, it would be my great preference to avoid looking this sort of thing up. <laughs> All right, let's see how terrible and uh, soul crushing this is. Uh, this feels like very, I don't like wide open spaces in this game. It feels like there's about to be a, a trap or something. All right, traverse the white light, let's do this. Oh, there's a cutscene for it. This, oh, this looks very much like the bottom of something, although there's another bit of fog at the end there. Oh, this is not gonna be a fun bit, is it? What is that? <gasps> That's the thing that was hanging off the side. It's one of those big centipede things. I saw that before and I thought it was strange. Actually, it's maybe more like a lobster. I don't know what it is. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I think a versus episode indeed. I don't think we're going to get away from this one quickly or easily. Hi, you're like a dinosaur that's also a centipede in it. Centipede demon. Okay, so centipede, that theory is right. Um, hmm. Let me just yeet on over top of this. That hurt a great deal. Oh, this is an arena that is not a good place for me to be. Okay, what are your attacks like? Your attacks are like... I guess if I if you try to stay in the lava, then I could avoid it and p uh, hit your head like that. I know, I realize I just rolled into the lava just now. How many attacks do you have? Oh, maybe you don't just stay in the lava. All right, you got a decent bit of health on you. And a decent bit of thwunk on you. All right, I have to drink before I go into the water. The water? No, oh, well, this is not going to be good for me. Out of the lava, quick. No, don't put me back. <laughs> wait, wait a minute. Oh, I can't believe I survived that. Ah, oh, this thing just does, it's relentless with those attacks. Okay, I wasn't fond of how that went for us. Uh, I don't think, um, some, something gives me the sense that, uh, the number of Estus flasks will not be the problem. The problem is gonna be, uh, finding spots that are safe to stand. It wasn't like we had some kind of flame resistance, uh, thing, did we? I mean, we had a ring, but it, it was like, reduces 5% fire damage or something like that. Well, I guess it can't be, it can't hurt to put that on over the covetous, uh, serpent ring, because, like, what... What are we going to use that for? So we may as well have that on. I don't know that it will reduce fire damage from the floor exactly, but it may be handy to have. Alright, let's try that again! And maybe, um, maybe I could start with the, the crossbow a bit. Yep, I did great. Let's swap back to the spear, please. Ah! <laughs> I think what we want to start by... Okay, the dodge didn't do anything that time, uh, but I did press it. Uh, I think what we want to do is start by just getting a few hits here. Uh, I think I didn't actually hit there. All right, that did all my health, cool. So you definitely do want to jump over that stuff. I thought um, that the jumping wasn't helping very much and I was just wasting my stamina, but we want to do that. I don't affect for this very much. Oh, hey, I put my souls outside because I died so early in the fight. Not that I have any souls. Yay! We. This is the sort of boss and the sort of huge arena that I would normally suggest shooting lots and then running away from, but I'd rather, oh wait, actually there's a lot of ground I can run on the side here put some distance between us. All right, so if you're gonna put your head, your centipede head out first, I'm gonna dodge that and stab it. What, did that not count? Okay, cool, that doesn't count. Dodge and stab. 
Nope, not fast enough. All right, now you're going to do a jumpy, twir whirly thing. Okay, and now stab works, except I missed again. Okay, so this is one of them bosses where you can't just be beside them. They'll just, like, they'll have, like, an AoE attack that's just uh, not a good time for you. And it messes with the camera and everything. Like, if it jumps like this... Oh. Never mind, well, that one was a bit different. Maybe I can stay near you. Let's try that anyways. Let's not write that off just yet. Because I obviously don't ha I'm not maneuvering around this battlefield. It's not something I'm going to be doing very much. Alright, I think being in front of you is not a thing I want. Wow, I'm impressed that I managed to roll and block that. Ow! That was a stomp on my toesies. My toesy woesies. Okay, this jump goes for really high in the sky, and I can just move. Okay, this maybe actually is, is not as scary as I was thinking. But we'll see if there's some kind of phase two to this. Because you, you you stay in the- Ah! It almost pushed me into the fire. It just feels scary because- Wow, that was- We're all misses. Good job. Oh, is it lost a foot? No, it was just a weird stance it had. Ah, no, don't move me. I'm trying to do uh, stuff. Okay, it's not its not the most intelligent creature, this thing. And this attack leaves it very open. And I don't even have to go very far away to dodge it. This is maybe among the easier fights. Oh, that's new. It hasn't done that yet. Yep, starting to feel like I made a bit of a big deal out of this uh, when it started. I was assuming I had to kind of run away and that it was going to be really hard to, to attack from close. That certainly hurt, but my flame stone plate ring made that slightly less bad. Alright, I'm going to actually take the time to heal now instead of attack this thing, just so we can have take no risks. Yep, this fight is pretty chill. Maybe this is going to be one of them with multiple phases and stuff. And that's why I, my overconfidence is not justified. I like to assume usually that my overconfidence is not justified. It usually leads to wiser lines of thinking. But as it stands, it looks like I'm about to just to destroy this. Ah, wait, hang on. <laughs> as soon as I said that, I missed it. Okay, wait. And now I'm trying to rush the end of this because I'm so close. But that's not the play. Is that it? Well, it hasn't given me victory yet. Victory achieved! Well. What was that? <laughs> Ten minutes that took us from the from the start of this episode? Thank you very much. No disrespect there. I mean the score is still three to one. You won. Make no mistake. Forty thousand souls for that? Are you joking? That was the easiest thing. <laughs> All right, and what was it? it? Gave me a ring, orange charred ring, reduces lava damage. Oh, an orange ring enchanted by a witch reduces lava damage. Since his sores were inflamed by lava, lava from birth, his witch sisters gave him this special ring. But fool that he is, he readily dropped it, and from that spot, a terrible centipede demon was born. So I guess it doesn't really say who the he is, but I guess it's whoever that centipede demon used to be. Well, rip to you. Sorry for stabbing you in the ankle several times. Unless their name is just Orange. Never mind. It does say an orange ring enchanted by a witch as well. Well. How kind were the, of those sisters, and now I feel bad for ruining their gift. But this is enough for a level up, so I don't feel that bad. And I also say we should, um, eat some of these souls packets we've got. Just to get a whole bunch of level ups. And I kind of feel like being cheeky and dumping it all into health. Does anyone else feel like that? I feel like that. Large soul of proud knight. Thank you very much, proud knight. Plus 3,000. Right, so that's not tons and tons. It all adds up. Soul of a proud knight, so that's, uh, not just large, not large, but... Just a soul. With 2,000 each, so with three of them is 6,000. Thank you, all three of you. Whoever you were, nameless people whom I shall never meet, except for when I die after breaking the undead curse, I guess. And soul of brave warrior, is that more than the brave knight? Well, I guess we're about to find out. Proud knight? Oh, it's much more than proud knight. Right then, so that's three levels? Just two. That's fine. Um. Health. Health. Health it is. Nice! Oh, up to the next bar. Sweet. And let's, uh, fix all that stuff that we... <laughs> Actually, I didn't l lose a whole lot of durability on any of that. Well, one swift win for our, our little win, uh, chart. Put the win chart up on screen. <laughs> I suppose, um, actually, let's try putting... The, also, I don't remember know if I mentioned before, but um, it occurs to me, I think I probably said it before in last episode, that if I was going up against a hard boss, I would probably want to swap the Covetous Ser uh, Serpent Ring for the Havel's Ring, because then I would be able to equip some harder equipment as well as having the Steel Protection, which would make me just ultimately more defensive, with no downside, I guess. Alright, let's see how, how much it slows the, the lava damage. Oh, considerably, like really intensely. Wow, that's handy. Well, let's definitely hang on to that for the time being. But we may want to get be getting cool loot from enemies, so let's let's swap out the uh, steel protection ring and lose a bit of defense here. Sad, but 
We shall survive. Oh, hey, there's stuff here. How did I miss that? Green Titanite Shard. Ooh, are those not things that we need for buffing the spear? Kind of can't remember now. We'll figure that out in a bit. I want to move on for a moment. Because across this uh, place, it seems like, well, there's this weird giant cracked thing that looks very suspicious. Is there uh, something going on here? Looks sort of like this should break, doesn't it? Or open. Like, very much so. Perhaps there's some kind of lever hidden in the lava around here? Hmm. I'm glad we have that helpful noise to make sure I know that this hurts in case that wasn't immediately obvious. Anything on this little bit here? I kind of like how there's these little ledges here, even though you wouldn't really need to go over here. It adds a bit of lived inness to the to the design. Oh, let me put the face in the lava too. That's probably. <laughs> I have a ring, okay? I'm special. Um, so I could go here. I could go to that. Fo oh no, this is where the fog was, I guess. Cool. Tally ho. Hello. Is that a person? Oh, is this our our friend the night? Oh, another bonfire. Sweet. Our friend the night from before. I had a conversation with them off screen. I can put that on screen now, if, unless I forgot to keep it. And <laughs> I deleted it by mistake. I had a conversation with them in off screen. I, I, I forgot to mention that I, I did some exploring around the undead berg. Um, the place where there was that giant bridge with the dragon that was breathing fire. And I tried to kill the dragon with crossbow bolts and that didn't work out so well. But then I just, so then I just tanked through its fire and lured it out and then ran underneath it to get to the bonfire, which made the dragon disappear forever, which made me sad because I was hoping to get some loot from it. But then I had a nice conversation with this guy. Maybe I'll just cut to that whole conversation now so you can see what that was. Mm. Uh. Oh, hello there. Forgive me. I was just pondering about my poor fortune. I did not find my own son, not in Anor Londo, nor in Twilight Blight Town. Where else might my son be? Lost Isolith, or the tomb of the Grave Lord? But I cannot give up. I became undead to pursue this. But when I peer at the sun up above, it occurs to me, what if I am seen as a laughing stock, as a blind fool without reason? Well, I suppose they wouldn't be far off. <laughs> oh, hello there. I will stay behind to gaze at the sun. The sun is a wondrous body, like a magnificent father. If only I could be so grossly incandescent. And back to me now. Let's talk to them here. Why? Why? Why what? After all this searching, I still cannot find it. Oh. What, the the sun Why? spirit? Oh, well, that's unfortunate. I hope there would be more to that. Um, Actually, maybe you're not the same person, because didn't you ask me to join the Covenant last time I was there? Not the Covenant, but join a Covenant. All right, reinforce. Let's see if I can reinforce. Oh, it's Green Titan I needed for the, for the uh, Longsword, which I haven't used in a long time, but I may use again if I want something doing magic. Herm. Although I can't imagine an instance where basic magic damage would... I would want that over lightning damage. Even Ornstein and Smouth, they didn't, they weren't, like, invulnerable. I guess I'll hang on to that green Titanite for the moment. Won't be easy instead. Anyways, but this whole new, got a whole new bonfire to this area, so that suggests to me that wasn't just some one-off little thing. And also, this may open up other areas of exploration, all this lava, the resistance. Maybe not, but, um, because there were, there, I, did, I think there were some spots that were kind of blocked off that I kind of went to anyways and just took the damage from. So it may not be that this is tremendously useful in areas before this, but it's, I'm glad to have it here. Right, so I guess I'll just head up on top of this route for the time being. See if there's any, is that a living, moving thing? That is several living, moving things, it, it looks like. They're like giant lost isolith. I'm not sure I like this place. Should I be the worst and, and shoot a crossbow bolt at one of those, or is that a bad idea? Well, I mean, it is a bad idea, but should I do it? Mm, maybe not. I think we should just take the the most the, as many roots as uh, possible here. The root root. You see, you see the joke I'm making there. It was a very good one. Please don't anyone be upset. <gasps> Are you facing me or is that your butt? I can't tell. Uh, let's just hope that it's the butt so that you can't see me. Yay! All right, I don't need to really roll over because there's there. This doesn't do a whole lot to me. All right. Um. It's almost like pollen in the air or something. It's very strange. Right, can I get on this? Not really. I might be running past you in a minute here, friends. Don't mind me. I am perfectly benevolent, and I do not mean any harm. You mean harm to me, though. Ugh. It's okay. You're not terribly fast, I think. Oh, I, I was wrong. I was wrong. I take it back. Oh, my God. Okay, we should go. We should go. We should get this and go. Soul Brave Warrior? Man, there sure weren't a lot of brave warriors who came here. What is with this big old thing here? 
fuck is this this thing that can be interacted with or punched maybe punch nope that's nothing there's got to be something with this altar right ah get away from me oh there's an inside um is this a mimic that would be really awkward it's not what this has got to be something important yes Soul of a great hero. Never mind. As I said before, I wonder how much of this is all, uh, is, is, or if any of it is a reference to Demon's Ruins, if I'm reading into that um, too much. Okay, that can't be all that's here, though. So, I mean, no, no disrespect to that great hero and their soul. Ha! Ah, there's one of you. Man, this is just a panic time. Yep, I'm just gonna go by. Okay, I did not go by as eventlessly as I had hoped to. I will drink here twice, because this is gonna go poorly for me. Yikes! Oh, do these things die in one hit? Or what, what was... Ow. They, well, they don't have infinite health, that's for sure. Um, I don't know what killed them, actually, that last one. Okay, I actually should not try to do that. Um, there's a whole broken archway. Man, this noise is not making my stress lo lower. Okay, uh, does this route go anywhere? Oh, it seems to go up. I like that. I would like to be up. Ugh. All right, let's calm down for a second now. Jeez, I was worried that all that was going to be was a big pit of, of, of death and, un and uh, dissatisfaction. But this looks like we're heading up into some kind of new territory here. Ah, are we actually going to go up into these old ruins? I would like that. Oh man, lighting change. This has got to be something important. Or a new area important, perhaps. Uh, there's another one of them floating gar uh, statue things. Hi there, can we be friends? Would it be acceptable to you? What was that noise? Would it be acceptable to you if I walked by and no one caught fire? Is that an acceptable circumstance? I guess so. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Then I will continue to do that for the rest of my stay. Okay, you have decided that that is no longer the plan. It's fine, I can kill you with one stamina bar. We learned this. Ow, 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 ow. Maybe I should swap to the stone plate ring while I'm here, actually. Uh, maybe I should just power through you all. Oh, wait, this heavy swing is fat. It's the slow. Oh, I should leave. Maybe I should just avoid you. Maybe that's fighting you is not the answer. Running is the answer. That's what we know. Kidok. So I'll just, ah, uh, it's rather dark in here for a place that's surrounded by lava and flame. Uh, but I don't think there's anything important. I don't think there are turn-off points here. I think it's just awkward tunnels that are meant to be creepy. Okay. You know what would be cool? Instead of the three bonfires back-to-back -back that we had before, <laughs> what if there was a, a, a bonfire up here where all the scary stuff is? What is that? Oh, gosh, I don't like this thing. Okay, it's attacking me. That I give that as, take that as leave for me to fight it. It's like an alien... Like an extraterrestrial type. Like classic Wally level stuff. Wally. ET level stuff is what I meant to say. Alright, it only gave a thousand souls and no special loot, so I guess I shouldn't have been super overzealous in killing that, but I just wanted to see how tough they were in the end. Alright, um, I'm expecting there's something important in here, because it's all a big altar on the hill and everything. Oh, there's just a this is doorway, I see. Any of these passages go any to anything? Perhaps not. Right. Then. God, I would love a bonfire up here. Why did they put a bonfire right after the boss fight? It was right next to one. There was a bonfire right before that boss arena. <laughs> I mean, I, I suppose that's convenient, but it would be so much nicer to have one up here in the ruins. Okay, so I could go along the path up the stairs, which I think is where I'm supposed to go. So let's check this out here and see if there's any nice optional loot for us. Well, let's start with this thing that I can actually see. Oh, hello. Don't worry, just blocking your fire with my wooden shield. It's just all good ideas here. Soul of a hero. I'm getting the sense that's going to be a running theme. Lots of heroes that have fell here. Have fell. Have fallen here. Hi there. Oh, hi. Also, you piece of loot. Rare ring of sacrifice. Ah, well, I'm not big on those, but good to have, I suppose. And this brings us back down here. So where did... How did we get up from here? I can't remember. Um, am I going backwards? Oh, shoot, I'm all turned around. Yes, this is where we came in the first time. I was going backwards. All right, I've only got one Estus thing yet, so I left, so I probably shouldn't be messing around here. Oh man, they're all over this place. At least they're quite slow. Oh, I'm with my spear in two hands. Make me look even more intimidating. I'm coming for you. Oh, that's pretty dumb. Let's not do that. Okay, back along the actual path. Let's try this again. Please don't anything jump off of anything at me. Uh, oh, hi. No, 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 you don't have to. Backstab. Are you just going to be a thing around here? I have the feeling you're going to be a thing around here, but you can't block with anything. You don't have a shield, so wait a minute. Why am I scared of you? <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Unless you were one of them, like, one-timer human enemies. Izalith Catalyst. I'm going to take... I'm just going to start calling it Izalith. Interesting. 
Maybe we'll get some details on what Isolith is. Weapon type, Catalyst, Attack type, Strike. I don't know why I read that. Catalyst of the Witch of Isolith of long ago, when her daughters still were flame with- Oh, right, right, the Chaos Witch Kalog was, was like- a daughter of Isolith or a sister or something? Um, Catalyst of the Witch of Isolith long, of long ago when her daughters were still flame witches before they were engulfed by the Chaos Flame. Before the birth of Pyromancy, their wands were mediums for sorcery, but knowledge of this flame sorcery has long since vanished. And now it's just Pyromancy is like the overarching thing for that I see. Cool. Well, won't be using that for this character, but I guess it's cool to have. Why is that thing... What is it guarding? Should I go over there and check that out? There's fog here. I kind of doubt this is a fight immediately. I reckon it goes into that big looking temple and there'll be a whole new area. Unless that is just one big arena for a fight, which could be. And I would I would be upset to learn that because then I would have to run through the lava every time to get to it. Alright, well this one is moving so it's probably going to jump off at me. Nope, it's chill with my presence. Oh wait, it's not moving. Yes it is, never mind. Uh, this thing over here. Okay, it's guarding a chest. Let's have that then. I still haven't seen what your attacks actually do because they're easy enough to dodge. Ah, the electricity doesn't sun you even remotely. Okay, that time it did. <laughs> I'm okay with that outcome. Sweet. Uh, that was pretty easy, though, so I don't really trust this. But I should've, because it's trustworthy. It's not a lying kind of chest. Pyromancy Chaos Fire Whip. That would be ridiculously cool if I did that. If I had any kind of magic ability whatsoever. I was thinking next time I, I do one of these Souls games, Soulsborne games on the on the channel, I'd probably try a magic class, because I haven't done it in 1, 2, and 3 now. I am playing mostly melee. I get the sense that magic would probably be a little more strategy requiring, which is not, <laughs> which is why I've been avoiding it. Because for recording, it's like it's easier to, to just. That is so cool! Holy crap! Look at that! Sorry, for recording, it's easier to have a a, a little more brain dead build. Not that the gameplay itself is is brain dead overall, but. Oh, oh, this is weird. This looks a lot- oh, and I can go back through the white light? No, I cannot. It's not like, um, see the scale list where I could go back, which would suggest me that I didn't have anything yet. This lo looks like to me that I'm about to slide into a big boss fight, actually, with one flask. Okay, oh, okay, let me- Rolling around at the speed of sound. Oh, this is a fight, isn't it? Oh god, this looks really- Bed of Chaos! Well, uh, I don't have an idea of what to say about that. Man, I'm gonna lose 17,000 souls when I die here instantly. Okay, well maybe I could start shooting some bolts at this from afar. Let's see if you also regenerate like Seath and I'm missing some really important truth. Oh wait, you don't take damage at all. Well, that's not how I wanted to hear you speak. To me, not that you actually said that. You, it was what you didn't say. Is there like a back exit to this place? Do you know where the bathroom is? <laughs> Bed of chaos. Okay, there's no need for that. Interesting, interesting. So am I maybe supposed to be hitting all that stuff, that orange stuff at the back? Let's try and shoot for that with a crossbow. And maybe that once I actually hit it, they'll start coming after me. But God, it's really hard to aim this without being allowed to do first person. I don't understand why you're allowed to do with the bow, but not with the crossbow. And I never will understand that. I'm thinking maybe this orange force field is like where I'm actually supposed to hit it. I don't remember this bed of chaos thing being mentioned in the, uh, in that opening video of the four lords, which I'm assuming we're going to be taking down, but perhaps it was a thing. All right, hitting that with bolts didn't seem to do much. Sweet. Let me go back to the spear then. Uh, so what I was saying about that, I th I mean then that perhaps this is not, because it doesn't look like there's any exit out of this place. Maybe this is not story pertinent what I'm about to do, but I'm sure as hell going to try. I haven't met a boss fight yet that I have not tried to beat. Let's go over around the side. Oh, you can turn. I don't exactly know how I would be dodging anything like this. Let's try going over here. This looks like I'm important. Maybe you can only melee it. Ow. All right, I understand you don't want me messing with this. I'll be gone in a minute. Unless I'm like getting protected by a force field here. Well, that's not true. Um. Okay. Didn't do any damage when I stabbed your hand. It did make a little impact thing though. Maybe I have to like run up to you. See, that's what I don't want to do is the thing. Ah, invincibility. Ah, not invincibility. Uh, and uh. This hand? Nope, that one doesn't work. Okay. So, what I am getting from this is that I am wrong to be here. 
<laughs> this is a bad move, just in general. Alright, I can't even block anything now. I just have to dodge per everything perfectly, despite the fact that I can't actually see what this thing is doing. Let's run under. Oh, this actually looks like a pathway. It could be, um, when this thing is gone. Alright, so I'm safe here. What do I do? <laughs> Am I supposed to hit it with fire, maybe? Do I have anything that would deal fire? Because the second I step out here, I'm gonna get just destroyed. Maybe I hit those arms enough and then they just sort of fall off or something? Because it did make a little, like, impact thunk, which doesn't do if I just hit a wall, right? Like, it just kind of keep like, the- but, like, there's a little, like, a jitter of the screen or something when I- when I actually hit it. Uh, okay, well, I'm about to die, but... Let's go try looking around this arena. Please roll over that. Okay. I'm safe out here. Maybe do I have anything that will, like, f a apply a fire effect to my weapon? Maybe I could try burning that stuff, because this stuff with the red force- orange force fields around it seems, like, pertinent somehow. Oh yeah, I haven't got the, uh, the, uh, stupid defensive thing on. That's right, that's probably why I've been taking so much damage. Well, a firebomb, let's- let's try that. Throw at these things, because I'm not going to use them really anywhere else. Nice throw! Let's try that again. No, I'm invulnerable here, you see. Um, because of- I just decided that. It's about a mindset. Oh! Oh wait, I can just break these? Wait, but it didn't break before. <laughs> Why is that? Okay, hang on. Okay, let's try this. Oh, is it gonna go to phase two now? Now that I have... <laughs> oh no, okay, so I have to go get this- do this on all sides, I see. Oh, have I angered the beast? I don't like the look of that, to be honest. Oh, can it now shoot me with fire and junk? Or is that another thing entirely coming out of it? Like a stick bug? What is this? What is that? Ah! Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, I see. I see that that's bad. Right, so it looks like I need to probably, I think it's, it's safe to say, that I should destroy that on both sides. And maybe try it again on the other side. Or, sorry, on, on the middle side. Which the middle is not a side, but ah, bugger, I've done this thing again. As I said, I wish there was another bonfire uh, up in that actual temple, because that would be nice, but you win some, you lose some. At least I know where I'm actually going now. And this may yet be a versus episode after all. Something tells me I won't be beating this thing so quickly. So quickly. <laughs> Alright, in that case, let's take off the uh, Covetous Gold Serpent Ring and uh, replace it with our physical one. There we are. Because I don't expect to be killing anything much, many things on the way, and I'm pretty sure the the they wouldn't make rare drops that like have a chance to drop from the boss, because that would be the worst kind of game design. Okay, how do we get back up there again? A route somewhere around here, but where? No, you needn't trouble yourself with me. I'm not important. Please, I should be allowed to go through that. Wait, this is a wall, isn't it? Oh no, thank goodness they let me do that. Okay, I remember where it was. It was way over on that other side, so I'm gonna have to run through a lot of lava to get there. This is going to be problematic and also- Ah, uh, no. Okay, relax. Calm down. You're entirely too rowdy at the moment for my liking. You need to settle. You need to settle. You need to- You need to reevaluate your priorities right now. Is this is killing me really what you want? Okay, I can see now that it is. So I'll just leave. That solves both of our problems, doesn't it? Easy with that tail. All right, let's try this fight again. Nah, I'm already gonna have to use one of my things just from all the running on the lava. I may yet be kindling this other bonfire we've got here just so I can start with more than four. Thankfully, I can just sprint past these with basically no, no chance of getting hit. No strong chance anyways. And you probably I can do the same with. Just kind of ignore you. It's okay with me. I hope that I'm not pulling a Dark Souls 2 here and doing uh, more DLC stuff, but I kind of doesn't seem like that, given how I th I'm pretty sure they they showed a, uh, an image of this spot before um, before I actually got down here. All right, so I'm figuring it's most just historically with Dark Souls bosses that that will have all reset, and I'll have to go do that thing on the right again. Nope, this the spider wood 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 um, bug stick bug is already out, so we want to get the hell over there and pronto. Okay, I blocked, but it didn't do anything there. <gasps> this is gonna- just gonna ruin the- Oh man, I'm already at no health. Well, I love this fight. I love this fight tremendously. I love this fight, I love this fight, I love this fight! Ah, oh, that was me blocking. Now that it's been destroying the floor, I, I recognize this boss fight arena. I, I've seen screenshots or maybe gameplay of it before. Not that I have any idea what to do. I'm guessing once I break that other one that the 
boss apparent will be more obvious. Well, that was a weird way to say that. The boss apparent will be more apparent. Like, what? because I obviously at the beginning there, I wasn't allowed to hit it or anything. I hope it's not like I have to shoot the stick bug thing on its back while it just, just, just hurls abuse and fire at me. That was an excellent dodge, me. I'm hired. For what role? I don't know exactly yet. Well, this is about the amount of health I'd lost from just walking on the lava last time anyways, so. And it's not like I'll live long enough to get a chance to use the, the rest of the Estes flasks. Oh, although at this point there's no lava, so I should probably uh, swap it out for the flamestone plate. I wish I ran a little faster. It's not the farthest I've ever had to trek from a bonfire to get to a boss, but it's not my favorite. Dark Souls 2 had some really long slogs but from bonfire to fight sometimes. It was pretty obnoxious. I love that there's absolutely zero animation for the sliding. You just squat. <laughs> okay, um, so has the floor been rebuilt in the in the time since we were away? A little bit, maybe. Okay, just pull some random dodges because I don't really know this thing's attack pattern yet. Good moves, all good moves me. Ah, that fell away. Okay, that's fine. Alright, let's hack away at these branches. I swear I tried that and it didn't really work. All right, this tendril's also snapped, so what does that mean? You're completely unhinged and you can run, roam around this boss arena while smashing the floor out from under me? Is that what that means? I hope that's not what that means. Oh, is it a pair of wings? Aha. Okay, what do you want me to do about this game? I don't really know what is wanted from me. Hey, yeah, uh, so I'll just... Okay, that's just a thing that hits the entire stage, I guess. Let me drink here, because I won't have another chance anywhere else. Okay, and I guess I want to go under... Okay, never mind, there's no more cursed things on that. What am I doing? What am I doing? Am I now allowed to hurt you arbitrarily? I don't understand. The rules are not described. Okay, your wings are swords also. I understand that. I What, what do you want from me? Maybe I should try again with the... No, please equip crossbow. Okay. Mm -hmm. Did that do anything to anyone anywhere? No, I don't think that's... Oh, wait, hang on, hang on. Roll, please. You don't have to reload it before you do anything else. Okay, I don't really understand what I'm doing. <laughs> but these seem to just be doing that attack over and over again. Okay, that's unblockable. Should I try... If I... Does it... If it hits the ground enough, does it eventually just fall in itself? Or is there like a second level below me that I can jump down to? Okay, that doesn't look like that's probably it. Okay, well, goodbye. I wonder if you can do the trick where you parry and it, and it means you take damage but you don't take any knockback. Probably not, but I wonder. Let me put the other ring on before I forget. Because I can't think of any way I would actually damage this thing, it seems weird to me that it would be as easy as just make it hit the ground a lot and then eventually it, it like falls under or whatever. But I've been surprised before with how easy they are. I mean, ceaseless discharge, I only need to hit it, like, four times. So that wasn't that bad, and the, the one we just fought wasn't- was pretty chill as well. You could just sort of stay under it, and it could basically- it would basically always miss you. So I probably shouldn't- I shouldn't make any assumptions, period. Although I guess that's probably something I should have known anyways. Oh, there's actually all kinds of structures over here that I didn't really investigate, but there's a boss over here, and I- at the moment, I think that's more important for me. No, please, 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 please disregard me. It's also possible that there's another bonfire somewhere else in here that I've just missed. Like, it's, it's sometimes they're even hidden. Dark Souls 2 sometimes would reward you with, if you were checking for secret passages well enough and stuff, there would be bonfires hidden in them and stuff. Which is cool. So it's possible it's here too. But at the moment, I don't feel like checking around for them. Alright, I kind of wish I was at more health here, because I could probably be pretty easily killed here before I even get a chance to drink. But I don't want to waste one by drinking right immediately. So I have to make a judgment call, and my judgment call is made, and I'm not going to take a drink, because I already am sliding. What? Are you attacking me before I'm even... <laughs> Alright. I'm back, boss fight. It looks like some of the floor has been repaired, almost. Alright. Bye. Is there a ring that makes falling off cliffs not lethal? <laughs> I'd like that ring. I mean, if it's anything like the second one, then there there is a ring that will uh, lower your fall damage, but... This isn't precisely fall damage. <laughs> Just broke that with my head. Cool. All right, let's. I'm gonna run forward this time, but okay. Mm, goodbye, world. <laughs> I'm not gonna get sweeped off like I did just before. Um, I'm gonna actually dodge the sweep. Okay, and now run. Never mind. That hurt. Okay. Always be aware for the sweep. I'm gonna get hit into the cliff. How does it always push me towards the cliff? <laughs> All right. It's fine. It's fine. There's no cliff around here now. It's fine. There's no cliff around here now. I said. 
Okay. It's fine. It's fine. I blocked that against all odds. Okay. Let's get in under this side. Maybe we can actually hide if I do that. I have a minute to think. Um, doesn't seem like it. This fire thing is just gonna chase me wherever. Right, okay, there's no defense against that. Cool. So this is not what you're supposed to do. You're not supposed to go back under here. Um, this is a wall for reasons. Alright, that was all my health. There goes the last of my Estus. Cool. Um, hmm. Okay, let's make this jump. Cool, cool, cool. Insanely cool. So cool, it's too cool for school, this this arena and everything that's happening right now. Oh, gosh. Okay, okay, okay. Ow. Don't know how I blocked that from behind. Okay, no health I have. Zero whatsoever. All right. What am I doing? I do not know. I have no concept. I have zero concept of what is... What is that? I saw orange just over here a second ago. What was that? What, is it just an ember? Okay, excellent jump. So far, it seems to me like they haven't really been, um... They've never- they haven't done anything where, like, you need to do ranged attacks. Like, with the Moonlight Butterfly, it was substantially easier when I was using my crossbow than waiting for it to come down and melee it, although I did also do that. But, like, to me, it seems- it seems uh, unlikely that they would want me to be shooting, like, the- the wings on the back with crossbow bolts, and I think I tried that and it didn't do anything also. Not that I had a very good shot on it. So that coupled with the fact that, geez, what was the other thing I was gonna say? I knew I had, an, I know I had another point, but it's gone. The fact that shooting it didn't. All oh right. So the fact that they don't usually ask you to shoot it from range, uh, and also, all oh right. Um, and that the fact that those those swords, when the sword part of the wings, when they stab into the ground, they don't stay for like any time whatsoever. So it's not like you could get out of the way and then hit it. Um, that suggests to me that hitting that, that, uh, wings, just, just doing damage to the wings things is not my thing, my, my aim here. I think I have to do, there's some other special way to do this. I still haven't totally given up on the idea of make it break the ground a whole lot, and then maybe stuff will happen, although some of the ground remains broken in between fights, and it doesn't seem very Dark Soulsy to me to have your progress save <laughs> in between the fights. Seems like they would want you to do the whole thing over again. That said, I didn't have to redo the whole fiery arm things again, so perhaps I shouldn't be so assumptive. I hope assumptive is a word, it probably isn't. Well, let's just give this a few more tries in this episode, and then perhaps we'll just devote the entirety of next episode to trying to f figure this one out. And I hope we can, because gosh howdy, I hope I'm not stuck on all three of the leads I had. You know, I will say, no, also, just briefly while I have a moment here, that, um, I had the idea at once that maybe see the scaleless, you were supposed to use crystal armor and crystal weapons to avoid the crystal attacks, but that, and, and be able to actually deal damage, but that seems kind of silly to me when I think about it more, because there was no way to actually get up to Seath anyways, to hit with a crystal straight sword, for instance. Just the fact that they dropped them so many around that area. Alright, let's try this again. I'm gonna try and make my way to the, s there is no way to make my way to the center. Oh wait, there's, is that... That tree there, is that like a path that I can jump to? Oh, it kind of looks like it is, actually. Uh, let's try that. It is wholly a place you can stand. So does that mean I'm supposed to be going underneath here? <gasps> oh, that seems important. Let's try this. Uh, I guess the fire stuff can... Oh, wait, can I just roll through this? Oh, I can. That's much easier. The fire stuff will probably chase me even down here, but... uh. I have to hit this anyway, so let's get this going. Maybe this will make the actual fight start. Hey, yeah! Oh, was that just the whole thing? And that was got me a Lord Soul. Oh, well, damn! And there's a bonfire here. I thought that was gonna be hard! Thank you. Oh dear, bed of chaos. I knew that I would be going into the, the center here, but I thought that would be what we that was would be like the way forward once I finished the the uh, the actual fight somehow else. Well, that was pretty uneventful, in a good way. Like it, it was it was not bastardly. My goodness, that thing is just gone now. Jeez, Lord Soul, does that so that goes into my key items? I take it because I have to put those Soul of Bed of Chaos, Mother of Demons. Soul of the Bed of the Chaos and the Mother of Demons. This Lord Soul was found at the dawn of the Age of Fire. The Witch of Isolith attempted to duplicate the first flame from a soul, but instead created a distorted being of chaos and fire. Nice job. Its power formed a bed of life which would become the source of all demons and is more than enough to satiate the Lord Vessel. 
more than enough to so like entirely by itself, but also let's level up twice. <laughs> Health. And let's repair all our junk before we teleport off. To I do want to teleport off now that oh man, uh, my armor is busted. Hang on, I've got I've got a soul packet, don't I? Soul of brave warrior, soul of great hero. Let's do one brave warrior. One brave warrior, please. 5k. In fact, if I use them all, I might have enough to, for uh, another upgrade. Let's try that. Worst case, we lose like 30,000 souls or something. I do want to go try and turn that in at the Lord Vessel at the moment, though, because that would be, it would be cool if we got to do some progress on that before this episode was out. Man, I didn't think it would be over that fast. Two bosses in one episode. Go us. No pun intended. We are on fire. Nice. And before I teleport away just yet, let me replace this with the Covetous Serpent Ring. Gold Serpent Ring, my mistake. Is that another for level? It sure is. Oh, the health, the health, the health. Okay, let's go sunlight altar. No, it, that's the where the that's the new place I unlocked that I didn't talk about. Anerlano chamber, the princess firelink shrine. I guess that's it, right? Yeah. I mean, obviously, there's no the bonfire there is not lit at the moment, but that's where the Lord Vessel chamber altar thing is. Firelink altar, right? <laughs> What kind of local bandits would want to hang around the Artorias door anyways? Can I like this yet? Firekeeper's absent. Sad days. Well, Gr Kramf, how are we doing? Oh, you're still asleep like last time I saw you. Never mind, you're very much wide awake. Hi there. I am pleased to see you well. And I you. Is it something urgent? Yeah. <laughs> Stay still for a moment. Yes. I could skip this. We've seen this before. <laughs> but it was good to T-pose for the meme. Right then. Thank you. Very well. Ah, so has this, um, feed Lord Soul. Offer souls to Lord Vessel. Here you are. D did I do the thing? No Lord Souls to offer. Okay, well, it burns a little brighter now. Did that light up something somewhere? All right, I don't know exactly what that was supposed to do. Hey, this door looks eerily like, um, that one that was at the end of the centipede demon arena. Or maybe that one wasn't a door, but this is definitely a door. Right. So that didn't have any immediate- whoa, do you have only one ear? Or is the other one just tucked around your face? So I guess I'm guessing I need all of them before I'll, this will have any notable resounding effect. And um, by the way nothing changed here, I'm gonna guess that means that I still have yet to find how to do the other ones. <laughs> Which is fine, I'm glad we at least did that. I'm pretty sure that's sort of the main thing we were supposed to do down there. And you know what that says to me? That says progress and that says a good place to stop. So thank you very much for coming around for that. I didn't realize we'd be making so much progress in the demon's ruins already. We basically, that was just like two episodes we spent down there basically, right? No sweat. We spent two episodes over in the Duke's archives and didn't make a damn bit of progress. I think I have to find the contraption that opens the, uh, the, the Drake Valley thing. That and figuring out how to see, uh, figuring out how to beat Seath. Those are our, like, main two objectives right now. But they're really hard. Perhaps I'll be able to ask around and, and see, get some advice from some people. But that'll all be happening next time on Dark Souls Remastered, so thank you very much for coming around, and hopefully I will see you around again. Admiral's gonna be out of here. Peace. You understand my plight? Very well. Then you'll let me go? Unfortunately, no. I think you should own up to this. <laughs> but why not? Comes I'm honest because I like you? Well, that sounds creepy in this context. <laughs> I think because I'm honest is probably the, the better answer here.